Hey everyone, it's Richard with Slimward.com, and today we've got a, an episode of From the Vault. This is a, a bit of an interesting card because um, I could be wrong, but this particular card may be a one of a kind. And you're probably thinking, wait a minute, there aren't too many Yu-Gi-Oh cards out there that are one of a kind. What could this card possibly be? Well, it's not a card that in and of itself is hard to come by, but what is actually on, or more correctly to say, what is not on the card, uh, is a little different. I'll go ahead and show y'all. Take a look at this. I'm sure all of y'all have already noticed that there's something missing here. This is the card uh, MFC 106. It's from Magician's Force, an older set, and it's called Double Spell, but as you can see there, there is no name. Nothing at all. The name stamping was completely missed. So, yeah, there's there's absolutely no name on this card. Admittedly, I did I remember specifically I did not pull this card. I was there when it was pulled. And I thought it was just an oddity at the time, and I talked to the person who pulled it and they agreed to trade it to me. Um so I traded for it and here it is still all these years later. It's been gosh, probably a good 12 years or so since I've had this traded to me. And I've had it in my collection ever since. I've taken very good care of it. It's still in near mint condition. It's been in protective case all this time. And yeah, like I said, it, it, misprints, you know, in the Yu-Gi-Oh universe are not all that uncommon. It's just, it really depends on the printing error that you get. Some of them, the stamping is just a little off center, like the name, instead of it being right here, it'll be a little low or it'll be a little bit high, uh, or it'll be like a double stamping, that sort of thing. Um, but this one, like I said, it has no name at all. Nothing. You can't see any any stamping on there whatsoever. So it's as if the stamping just completely missed it. As far as value goes, it's hard to say. There is a market for misprint Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but the value of this card, uh, I'm, a, I'm a little hesitant to give it any real value as far as a number, because it, it's really worth only what, you know, someone is willing to pay for it. And I can tell you right now, because I do think this is a very unique, possibly one-of-a-kind card, uh, I'd be hard-pressed to sell it. You'd have to offer a pretty penny, a very pretty penny, to get me to part ways with this thing. Because, like I said, it's possibly one-of-a-kind. So, you know, I looked on eBay, couldn't find anything even significantly, or even insignificantly close to it. So yeah, it's hard to say exactly how much this is worth. I would think probably somewhere in the several hundred dollar range, but that again, you know, who, who, who's to say exactly what the value is? We don't know. <laughs> but anyways, that's a double spell from Magician's Force, uh, completely missing the name, no stamping at all. And uh, yeah, this one may stay in my collection for a good time to come. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Make sure you all check out slimwork.com for all the giveaways and contests we have there on the site. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video. If not, you can give us a down vote. Doesn't really matter. And I will see you all next time.